I was told there's no additional money in this new budget for any kind of um, restitution to First Nations that oppose this project. What are your commitments under UNDRIP to the West Moberly and other Treaty 8 nations that oppose this project? Well, our commitment to reconciliation and UNDRIP don't stop in the peace there province-wide. And we're working, Scott Fraser, who again could not be with us today, has an explicit mandate to ensure that he works with his colleagues uh, across cabinet and across government to make sure that we're implementing uh, the, the UN, UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples as well as the reconciliation calls to action from the most recent uh, Truth and Reconciliation Commission at the federal level. So we're committed to doing that across government. This element, these issues, and the peace are part and parcel of that. How could this not be a setback to your relationship with First Nations, a number of whom have opposed this dam well beyond West Moberly and, and Prophet River? And also when it comes to uh, reconciliation and working with Indigenous leadership, look, there has been uh, over 150 years of disappointment in British Columbia. I'm not the first person to stand before you and disappoint Indigenous people. But I am, I think, the first that stood before you and said that I'm going to do my level best to make amends for a whole host of issues, a whole host of decisions that previous governments have made to put Indigenous people in an unwinnable situation. It's to talk about resource sharing when all the resources is gone, are gone is not true reconciliation. We have a lot of work to do. This is a very, very divisive issue, but I think there's a lot we can agree on. We're going to be working. We are already working with uh, Indigenous groups on Vancouver Island to address the challenges around fin fin aquaculture uh, here on the coast. We're four square uh, in favor of working with uh, the First Nations and the Burrard Inlet and others to uh, do what we can to stop the Kinder Morgan project. And those are just those big ticket items that catch the news. The more important issues to communities, like making sure that there's training, making sure there's adequate housing, making sure that we're putting in place programs that will lift people up. That's the true reconciliation that we're focused on. Surely, to goodness, we can get past the acrimony around a, a big issue, a big project, and start focusing on the things that matter to people.